This product is analog cyclic timer. It is so called analog because with help of those two rotary switches which is found in the timer, we will be able to set the on time and off time. And it is called the cyclic timer because whichever electrical device that we are going to connect to this timer will function in a cycle pattern. Like it will be on for some period of time and off for some period of time and the cycle continues. So in this product you will be able to see there are totally three LEDs power on which will indicate the power supply to the unit whether it is in on condition and next is the on time LED which shows whether the connected device is in on condition and whether the timer is in the on time program and next is the off time LED which indicates whether the connected device is in off condition and whether the timer is in on off time program and there is a power on off switch at present it is in the on position so if you if you just uh, press it it will it is this position is the off position so it helps to switch on and switch off the device and below the product you will be able to see there are totally four wires one red and black and another two blue red is phase black is neutral you need to give input ac 230 volt for this device and there are two blue wires they are relay outputs and that has to be connected to the switch of the electrical device that you are going to connect and it has to be connected in parallel to the switches so once the power connection is given we can program this timer. So let's see how to set the on time and off time. So you can see on the top there is a on time rotary switch. So this rotary switch has to be turned in the anti -clo sorry clockwise direction. So you can set from 5 minutes to 5 hours. So beyond 5 hours you will not be able to move. So for which you need to give an anti clockwise rotation if you want to set the previous time so if you want 5 minutes you can just set 5 minutes and it's the same way for the off um, off time also you have to rotate it in the clockwise direction suppose if you want to move to the previous time you need to have it uh, have an anti clockwise direction so i'm setting 5 minutes as the on time and 1 hour as the off time so once you have made sure of your on time and off time, we can just switch on the device. So switch on the device using the power on off switch. You can see the power on LED glows and then the on time LED which means the device that is connected to this timer is in the on condition and this timer unit is in the on time program as of now so the on time program program has started now so for 5 minutes the device connected device will be in on condition so after 5 minutes is over it will go to the off time and the cycle repeats now here i would like to emphasize that if you want to set a time between 5 minutes to 10 minutes it's not possible you can see in the rotary switch there is a white line which is pointing to the time present in the label. So if you keep in between 5 to 10, it will take only the nearest value. It is always better to place this white line mark on the time displayed in the label. It is the same for the off time rotary switch also. So the time is getting reduced. Soon we are going to reach the off time program. Yeah, the off time has started and the connected device will be in off condition and you can see the off time LED glowing. So for one hour, the device, connected device will be in off condition and the timer program will be in off timer mode so and the cycle will be continuing again for 5 minutes on and 1 hour off like that now during this time if the power fails and resumes so i will be explaining you by switching off this device it will not have an inbuilt memory of the last status so let me switch it off 
and switch on again. See the on time program has started from the beginning. So it doesn't have an inbuilt memory. So this is how this product will function. So whenever the power fails and resumes the on time only begins and then it continues. So this product is of much useful for people who are very much conservative like uh, they need not they will not be able to handle a digital timer. It will be very difficult for them to operate it and it is also useful in fogger systems, hydrophonic systems and for motor pumps uh, that are uh, that require a cyclic fashion of uh, operation. So in such cases also it is very useful. So among all the what all the timers, this is a very easily accessible timer. You can use it in a very easy mode. It's also very, it's not too costly. It's very uh, cheap and it has a low low cost. So it is uh, much useful for people who need an economic economy product. So I hope you will enjoy this video. It will it will have given you a better idea of how to handle this device. Thank you one and all.